Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Swag Skills. Swag Skills is my Road to Max-esque series. It's been a little while since I put one out because all of my levels are pretty much in the 90s range and it takes time to get all these levels. So without further ado, the first skill I'm going to be going over and I'll probably show all the footage over ha. Huh? Oh, uh -huh. there you go. That's how this works. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the face cam type thing. I think it will just add some sort of interactivity, and I like it. I like it very much. And if you like my face, say something below. So, starting off, 92 agility. I hate agility. This is a known fact, and uh, yeah, damn, did it. I ran out of bonus experience though, I don't know how I feel about that. Pretty much bad. I uh, I need to fit in some BA for at some point within the next month before double experience. I might even be tra training agility versus double experience. I have no idea. I think I'm going to be doing smithing, but I don't know. Like agility just, ugh, like I just want to, I just want to take it and just put it to 99 and just be like, I'm done with you. Just take take it off. I don't, I don't want you anymore. Uh, next next is 93 and 94 Hunter. So both these skills are relatively respectable. Um, they Hunter as a skill is kind of it's kind of like its own mini game. You know, it's it's not that bad, but you can really take advantage of the daily activities in getting Hunter done. Doing by doing a big chin chompa and doing your box traps during and so definitely take advantage of those you can also use the Vizwax, which is new which i put out a video on how to give it with Vizwax and use it and what it does you can reset your dailies and you can also uh, double them so it's even better uh but specifically you can do that with your box traps and two box traps per day is amazing um, otherwise get that big chinchampa in because I unfortunately like will forget and then do like one instead of two per day and it's so much experience there's really no, no excuse not to and the effort put in during big chinchampa is so low compared to what you would be doing uh, actually training hunter regularly regularly but otherwise uh, dr draconic to dinkos is what I've been doing so anyway uh, continuing 93 mining I suck because I missed this and I was like oh no print screen print screen blah, 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 and, I, and I was freaking out and I got it um, I've been doing a little bit of, um, of it on the side of mining uh, down in living rock caverns I know that it uh, the sarin stones and elf city that's gonna be coming out tomorrow along with a video I'm gonna put out tonight being like hey dummies how you doing um, so Elf City's coming out, if you were living under a rock and have not looked at the front page, a, any live streams or, um, Reddit for the past, like, month or two or three, then, yeah, Elf City's coming tomorrow. Don't miss it, don't be dumb. I have a feeling something's going to be broken within the next, uh, 12 hours of, or within the first 12 hours of Elf City, so... Yeah, unfortunately I'm going to be working part of it, and so if it's released like 15 minutes before I go to work, I'm going to be so pissed, but regardless, as soon as I get home, I'm probably going to be spending 10 hours, and I'm getting home late at night, I'll be staying up all night making videos of the all the content for Elf City, every clan, there's going to be a video, video, blah, 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 a video for every clan, um, so yes. Continuing on, 96 Engineering. I've been doing daily sinkholes, and that's about it. Um, so World 77 is not my favorite place. Uh, the best I've gotten there is like a 28-minute large, and I'm like, ah, that's so bad. Like doubling a daily, that's like an entire hour, like for just that much. I mean, it's a good, it's a good amount of experience. It's worth it, but 28 minutes, ah, ah, man, that's bad. That's bad. 98 and 99 divination well that was really 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 uncomfortable uh like pre-95 divination was in my opinion a terrible 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 skill past 95 being able to do it at the green delicious area of the um well it's near castle wars it's just really nice there's ocean there's trees it's nice i don't know i don't mind it um, mostly the, you know, the environment is all that really matters to me sometimes when it comes to those AFK-esque skills, but some people disagree with me that Divination is pretty much not AFK at all, which, I don't know. You get a, a Nightmare Muspa, and it's, like, awesome. There's, like, a lot of more inventory space for your Divination needs. Continuing on, 98 and 99 Runecrafting. Well, I did it. 
I didn't think I'd do it. I did it. I hate RuneSpan. I still hate RuneSpan. Whenever I eventually, in five years, decide to trim, I'm going to have to go back there and get the um, rank one in your whatever it's called reward, whatever. I've got to go back there and do that eventually. Um, rip RuneSpan. It'll be a while. That's all I can say. But uh, I wish there was a little bit something different there. I, w I wish there was a more advanced mechanic with the wizards. I wish there was, I don't, like, like you could even make the wizards not random to everyone. Wherein, like, you'd have an FC or you could have just a group going around and being like, wizard, yellow wizard is on the left side, call out. And then there's a community activity instead of just like, Oh, there's a wizard. Let me spend five minutes trying to find the blue wizard. And then, oh, the yellow wizard was on the other side of the place. And I hate you so much right now. And that that's that. So, 98 farming. Um, been doing palms and magic trees. Which has been expensive, uh, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, I've been really staying on top of it to get it. I don't do warbands, so, yeah. I don't like warbands. I, I liked it in the beginning, but I hate it now. It just It's kind of just like a a party that I'm not invited to. That's pretty much how I feel. And I'm just like, okay, it, it's going to happen. Whatever. Sure, warband. Do your thing. Do your thing, bro. Like, just drink all you want. Just go crazy. And I'm just going to be in the corner chilling on my phone. 99 farming is actually 100k away, and so is 99 summoning, both of those. I'm probably going to be just showing my skills for right now, so I can just talk about like what my goals are and all that sort of thing. I'm probably going to log in and look at them while I talk, because that only makes sense, right? Well, I am at Livid Farm for the next like 8-ish hours. Um, I think I've got about 20 hours left on... Um, on livid farm to finish off the carpal climate so that's super nice but regardless of all that shenanigans looking at my stats right now i am again kind of low on the agility side which is fine mining is going to be taken care of by the sarin stones like i said through elf city i'm going to be using those the corrupted ore that you get from the sarin stones to get free smithing experience i'm going to see how far 99 mining takes me into the smithing experience and then i can just flip like i bought a like 50,000 addy bars for like 150 mil or something like that it, I don't even, something like that, I forget, maybe 120, and that was like two days before bonus experience was actually uh, announced, the, bonus, the double experience weekend next, or actually a month and a half, no, a month and ten days from now, whatever, and I was like, yes, merch, boom, but I actually need them anyway to get 99 smithing, I'm not going to lose everything i'll lose half as much as i would before but what i'm hoping is that elf city smithing experience is actually respectable enough to actually bring me through the majority of the levels so i can actually just flip those and make a huge profit um even though i didn't even mean to flip them so i was like boom yes that's awesome okay I somehow need to get prayer. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. I kind of need to work on that. Uh, probably just buy some like dragon bones and just grind it out like with an hour or two at uh, double experience weekend. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm pretty pretty doing okay. Like I've been with Hunter, I've been doing heist, and so I have a lot of experience, bonus experience stacked up for that to turn in. So I'll probably be getting 99 Hunter um, probably within the next week or something like that. It's not really that bad. It's just, it's kind of like a money game. You know, it's not really a, a concern of mine. And then I'm pretty much maxed, which is weird. I, like, I'm at the point right now where I really don't have that many more valid activities to do. And it's just a weird feeling. But what this means for you, which is awesome, is that I'm going to have a lot more time to put content out like guides. Like, after I get max, basically, or even before I get max in the next month, I'm going to be focusing on 1 to 120, 1 to 99 guides uh, for every skill. That's going to be a main feature of my channel, and, you know, I... Uh, hopefully I'm gonna make them a little bit different. I don't know. It's gonna be a cool thing This is this video is kind of turning into a channel update slash thing because I have the camera on so I feel like I can just like talk um, And 
And, uh, oh yeah, crafting. I completely forgot about crafting. Um, I am going to buy the battle salves for it. I just didn't really have enough cash, but I need to transfer the money over that I have in 07. Um, the conversion rate isn't that amazing right now, but it's all right. It's like the same thing it has been. I don't think it's going to go up or down for like at least six months. So I'm probably going to transfer that money over and then probably use that to get 99, 99 crafting off that. So... Um, oh, and one more thing before I do in this video, one series that I'm thinking about doing, I'm not really sold on it yet, but just like give me some opinions, give me, give me some feedback going on in the comments below. So I'm just going to explain the video idea. So I'm going to take five items and I'm going to tell you what has been happening with them. So I'll give you market info. I'll give you like, not just like random, not just like, oh, they're Easter eggs. They're so weird. Easter's coming. Like, it's not going to be something I'm talking about, like what you should invest in. Um, what's a valid flip right now? What's a weird flip right now? You know, just like five solid items that would be interesting to detail. And, and maybe like people when they were uh, the item dupe, um, that ended up happening with archer rings. Some people are saying like, why are archer rings 40k? Well, if you were, you know, if you were playing two months ago or a month ago, you would definitely understand why they are 40k now. So just kind of like a updatey type thing to get people up to speed because obviously there's a lot of information that comes out of RuneScape and it's really difficult at times to keep up with everything if you're not connected on social media and you don't watch Reddit like a hawk like I do and you're not just, you know, you don't have all your feelers open uh that was weird uh so anyway this video has gone way too long and definitely if you enjoyed it uh leave a like comment blah 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 if you really enjoyed this video you should definitely punch that subscribe button because that definitely gives me even more push to put out more and definitely welcome the new subs that have joined in the past week i love everything that you have to do with yourself and get them games